Good morning, students, teachers, and staff at Bataan. Could I please have your attention for our morning announcements? Please make sure you are ready and dressed for the weather. It is going to be much cooler next week. Make sure you're wearing those hats, gloves, and make sure you're also bringing those with you to the lunchroom if you go to recess after lunch. That is important so you are prepared and you do not have to go back to your classroom. Just a reminder of a few upcoming important dates. Today is the last day to shop at the Holiday Shop, and next week we will have school on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but we will not have school beginning December 22nd, which is Thursday, through January 2nd, 2023. We will have our winter break at that time. At this time, if you would please stand, put your right hand over your heart, and together we will say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag, of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may stay standing for a Baton Pledge at Baton Memorial Elementary School. We work together to do great things for others. We have relentless pursuit of growth to get better every day. We own it. We own our actions and choices we want to be the best version of ourselves. Today is Friday, December 16th, 2022, and for lunch today we will have pizza, salad, fruit, and milk. Happy birthday to Gemma Shishelli and Alexander Hope on the 18th. Happy birthday also to Benjamin Schramm on the 17th and Sam Cruz on the 18th. We hope you all have a great birthday. As we close out our week and we're thinking about all the events that came our way, hopefully you have taken control of your responses and you have made those above the line decisions and choices. Remember, we can't always control the events that come in our way. Sometimes things are unpredictable and we don't know those things will happen, but we can control our response. That's the way we act, the choices we make, the words we choose to say. We are in charge of our own response. Our response determines our outcome. In order to have a better outcome, we have to make above the line responses. So keep that in mind, E plus R equals O. It's always a good way to solve a lot of our problems. Here in the classroom, at recess, even in your own life outside of school, you can use this. As we continue with the month of December, it's important that we take some time to care, listen, and connect. What can you do to show someone you care today? Think about that. Is there something you can do, something small, just something that you could do to make someone feel good about themselves? Please make sure you're using your self-control. Make sure you're keeping your hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. Make sure you're thinking first, then acting. Remember, you are in charge of your own actions and your own words that you say. Please be respectful with those actions and words. And remember, E plus R equals O. Events come our way and our response determines that outcome. You have control over your R or your response. Just a reminder, when you're out on the playground today, make sure you're lining up quietly with your classroom line. Make sure you're taking turns when you're on the equipment and following the directions that are being given by the recess aides. Please make sure you're keeping your hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. And please use the playground equipment safely and appropriately. And when you are in the cafeteria, please make sure you're using your inside voice level and listening to the adults. Clean up after yourself. Please use your manners. And when it's time for lunch to be over, make sure you're walking quickly and quietly outside for recess. Special academic congratulations to Adeline Hildreth for passing her subtraction facts on the extra math program in Mrs. Lohman's class. Also, congratulations to Arroyo Price on passing her addition facts on the extra math program in Mrs. Keaton's class. Special congratulations to the following students for mastering all 10 levels of multiplication boot camp and moving on to division boot camp in Skill Sergeant Moore's classroom. Congratulations, Molly Murata, Asa Gatliff, Briar Mooney, Connor Cornell, and Shane Nystrom. Keep up the great work. And just a reminder, next week for 5th grade Safety Patrol, the following students have Safety Patrol next week. Berkeley Meisner, Tristan Woodson, Cohen Armstrong, Briar Mooney, Reagan Laird, Trevor Mayers, Ario Guerra III. Please make sure you are ready for your duties at 8 o'clock on Monday morning. 
Just a reminder of our 12 days of Christmas themes for the intermediate students. You will have Ugly Sweater Day on Monday. And for the primary students, you will be having some Christmas themes. And yours on Monday is also Ugly Sweaters. Tis the season to be freezing. Wear your ugly sweater. On Tuesday, the primary students will wear holiday headwear. And on Wednesday, we will wear warm and cozy and have a pajama day. So make sure you think about those themes so you're ready to go next week. As we come to our end of the week, it is Friday. It's a great time to take a few moments to reflect and think about the choices you have made throughout the week. What has gone well for you? What are some things that you could improve on or get better from? What above the line choices did you make this week? Are there any things that you could do to improve? We can learn from those mistakes. I hope you each have a fantastic Friday and a great weekend. Make sure you take some time to care, listen, and connect to others, and go Skins.